I'm Marian Myers with MB Elite Realty and Brick House Collective Team, bringing you one more video um, about a CMA, the Comparative Market Analysis. Why is, it, why is it important to buyers and sellers alike? When doing a CMA, we're looking for a couple of things in particular. The most importantly, it's on the buyer side. We do it to help the buyer understand when we're putting in an offer, what the price that we should put in that offer to purchase that house. When you're a buyer and let's say the house is on the market for $250,000, we're going to go and we're going to pull the, the most recently sold properties in, within the last six months that are about half a mile away from each other that are similar in the type of build, one story versus two stories, two car garage, pools. We try to get it as similar to that particular property on the homes that are sold. When a buyer is being represented by a bank, meaning they're buying the property as a finance property and not buying it as cash right out, it's important to know what the value of the property is compared to other sold homes in the market area around that same period of time. So as far back as six months, as far away as half of a mile, equal type property. So we try to get within about 10 years out, we try to do within the same square footage as much as possible. We look at the style of the home. If it's a upstairs and downstairs, we try to get other upstairs and downstairs home. If a house has a two car garage, if it has a pool, those types of things, we try to get similar type homes within that half a mile of the sales that have been sold. So we can get as close as possible to the price of what, to find out what the price is that this property should be sold for. When we deal with the seller, some of the important things to know when we're doing a comparative market analysis is to look at the same information but for different reasons. So when we're going to list the home for the seller, the seller wants to know, what's my home worth? When we do a comparative market analysis or CMA, we're giving them a pretty good idea based on other homes like their homes that are sold in the market for the last three to six months, half a mile away, within give or take the same square footage and the same year of that home. This gives us an idea of what we can price that property for. This is really important because this way, when we put the house on the market, the seller's home on the market, we want to get as close as possible to even above asking price for that home. So if we price the home appropriately, especially for the seller based on if it's a newer renovated home versus a home that has had nothing done to it, we will look at that comparative market analysis a lot differently. So if a seller is putting their home on the market and the home has not had any renovations, the roof is at the end of its life, the hot water heater is at the end of its life, the electric system has had no updates in the last 20 years, the windows are the original windows to the homes, no kitchen, bathroom, any type of upgrades done to the home, that home home in that same area will not be priced as high as another comparative home in that area that has had all newly renovated roof, AC, hot water heater, um, appliances, kitchen, bathrooms. The more things that are done to a home of most recent five to 10 years, the more that adds value to the home. And when we're doing the comparative market analysis, we would make adjustments in that comparative market analysis to reflect any upgrades or changes that are done to the property. That may be different from other properties in the area, so we'll add or subtract based on what has been done in the area, well, what has been done with that home in regards to what hasn't been done in, in with other homes. So anything extra adds credit towards what that home's value would go up towards. Listen and guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like the information that I'm providing to you guys and you want to learn about anything else in the real estate market, please leave in the comments below and I'll try to put a video together. Interested in purchasing property in the Florida area, my information is listed below. If you'd like to know what your home is worth, please give me a call 954-947-7262. Thank you.